Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of The Wrap Up. As always, I am Monty Moore and just wanted to hop on here today, cover some of the stuff we heard from player availability um, uh, today from some of the uh, Packers. Uh, we had Preston Smith, Pat O'Donnell, Randall Cobb, and Devondre Campbell uh, had some pressers. I wanted to focus on Cobb and Campbell specifically, uh, just because a lot of what I thought they had to say was very introspective and a lot of good perspective as well um, about some things, uh, the state of the team and how they see things going this year. Uh, start with Randall Cobb, uh, just a few highlights. He was, you know, asked how are things without Devonte Adams, right? And he opened it up and kind of lightened the room and said, you guys know he's still alive, right? So I know a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of mire uh, on Twitter and on social media, you know, gloom and doom about losing Devonte Adams, but he, he put it into perspective great. He said, you know, every good thing comes to an end, things happen. We all have lives outside of this game. And sometimes that takes us in different directions. Uh, he went on to say, you know, obviously I have a ton of respect for Tay as a person, as a player and as a father. And one day we're not playing football anymore. So I hope we can appreciate the eight years he gave us here. And he's glad he's in a situation where he's happy and he has what he wants. So that really kind of reinforces what we've known that, you know, obviously Green Bay wanted him back, but he also had a stronger desire to play somewhere else for things that weren't directly related to football. Um, he was asked about, you know, him taking a pay cut to come back. Um, and he said, when I left you the first time, I never wanted to leave. But since then, I've moved five times in the last four years. And now that I have kids, it's not as easy. He wants, I want stability for my kids and I want to keep familiarity for them. So again, it, you know, sometimes we forget this stuff isn't always about on the field and there are other factors to consider and it's awesome, you know, somebody that's a fan favorite likes being here just as much as we like him being here. Um, he was asked about Adam Stenovich. Uh, he said he's great in meetings. He makes playing the game fun. He enjoys conversations that they've had and who he is as a person. He's got a great command of the room of the practice field and during games. So there will be obviously familiarity. Um, they're going to be running the same system. Steno's been here for three years. So um, I, it doesn't seem like, you know, any of these guys think there's a huge learning curve to make up and about learning curve. He, he mentioned that specifically um, talking about Amari Rogers, uh, cause you know, he was asked, you know, what he thinks of his development going into the second year. Um, and, you know, before I get to what he said, as soon as Randall Cobb was re-signed, it was kind of, you could, you knew Amari's rookie year was pretty much going to be a red shirt um he, you know they're playing the same role in the offense but obviously Cobb is way more experienced and knows all the nuances of it so um we know he's somebody that's been you know Randall Cobb's you know Randall Cobb's been his mentor for a little while now um but he said what we do isn't easy it's all a process if you remember a lot of people in this room wanted Adams cut so let's give it some time but for me, it's about helping him understand and build confidence, allowing him to continue to grow. And he made it a point specifically to say, stay out of the Twitter comments. Obviously, you know, we see it all the time um, as fans on Twitter, of, of what people think about when a guy doesn't catch on right away. So he finished it by saying he has the tools. It's about putting them to use and overcoming the learning curve. And throughout his 15 minute session, he said learning curve at least 10 or 15 times. So it, it, he very much put it in a perspective that it is process and things, things you have to let things play out. Um, and Devondre Campbell, um, we haven't, you know, he's a softer spoken guy in, in terms of we don't hear a ton from him. So whenever he gets chances, you know, to, to have that availability, he always puts some great stuff out there. Uh, if he was first asked, you know, how did it feel to sign you know that that new contract and he said for me it was a dream come true i've been grinding for a really long time and to finally find an organization that can use my skill set it feels really good to now have that security and that goes back to something he said earlier this year right where he said i finally found a scheme where i can be batman and not robin and he really expounded on that because he went on to say you know 
I've known Matt LaFleur since my rookie year, so that made it an easy decision to come here. But what he really wanted to emphasize was he he said that he only wanted to play, you know, the role he's doing. He had been on other teams and they asked him to play three or four different roles. And even though he can do that, um, he didn't really feel like he could showcase what he was meant to play. And he said, which I thought was a very interesting anecdote, when he was meeting with teams, because he got several offers before he signed in Green Bay. Um, but he said, the only way I'm, I, he was telling teams, the only way I'm coming on is if you let me do this and only this. I wanted to be a Mike linebacker and just be a Mike. Um, and he said, we're all men. If we agree on something, that's what we agree on. So it, it, it came down to mutual trust. It, I'm, he's going to trust the Packers that they will put him in the position that he wants to be in and the Packers are going to trust him that he's going to perform at a high level doing what he's asking to do and obviously in that first year it paid off in spades he went on to be one of the best defensive players in the league last year um I do like that he added you know from the day I walked in from the top down everybody was happy I was here that goes a long way I feel like I've done the right things for the wrong people in the past and to find people that actually show appreciation for you, you want to run through a wall for them. The fact that they showed me a commitment, now I want to show them a commitment. So, I mean, perfect storm, right place, right time of what the Packers needed and the fact that this guy was out there, but it definitely seems like going into this second year, he's he made it sound like he's going to be a bigger part of you know the locker room and leadership overall, because you know he said when he showed up, he only had a month to get things down, learn the system and hit the ground running. But now he's going to have more time with his teammates. You know, obviously the protocols got lifted for COVID and all that. So they're able to actually hang out outside the building. He's never really had a chance to do that so far. So he said he expects things will be much smoother this time around and the communication will be better. So that's just a few stuff, uh, a few things I wanted to highlight. It's uh, it's great that you know, and whenever these players get up there that we don't normally hear from, it's awesome to hear them, you know, kind of be insightful. And there's, you know, there's great nuggets in there that they'll drop that are tough to catch. Uh, one last thing, I love that Devondre Campbell specifically talked about, uh, if you guys remember that Instagram story where he was back at Lambeau Field and he posted the eye emoji and he fully said, <laughs> he said, yeah, I did that, you know, just to kind of stir up some some noise he said we i know people bite on it so i like to play that game and i've always said i can't even imagine how much fun i would have as an nfl player on twitter because literally every single thing that you do there are so many people hanging on your every word even though they know people do this stuff on purpose but it always works so that's all i had thank you guys for joining us and i will see you next time go pack go